we can get exact values of sine, cosine, and tangent for some special angles in standard position. Here we'll look at 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. We'll start by drawing the y and x axis. Then we'll add a circle. Then we'll add marks at 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. 360 degrees has the same mark as 0 degrees. Here are the coordinates for these four points when the radius of the circle is 1. We'll construct a table to record values for these four angles. 0 degrees is equal to 0 radians. 90 degrees is equal to pi over 2 radians. 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. 270 degrees is equal to 3 pi over 2 radians. And 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians. Now we'll determine values for the four angles we have using their coordinates. We'll start with the sine of 0 degrees. The radius r is equal to 1 for all the angles. The sine is y over r, or 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. The cosine of 0 degrees is equal to x over r, which is 1 over 1, or 1. And the tangent of 0 degrees equals y over x, which is 0 over 1, or 0. We'll record the sine, cosine, and tangent of 0 degrees in our table. Now we'll look at 90 degrees and start with the sine of 90. The sine is y over r, which is 1 over 1, or 1. The cosine of 90 degrees is equal to x over r, which is 0 over 1, or 0. And the tangent of 90 degrees is equal to y over x, which is 1 over 0. Dividing any number by 0 is undefined, so the tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. We'll record the values of sine, cosine, and tangent for 90 degrees in our table. Now we'll go to 180 degrees and start by finding the sine. The sine is y over r, which is 0 over 1, or 0. Next we'll determine the cosine of 180 degrees. The cosine is x over r, which is negative 1 over 1, or negative 1. Now we'll find the tangent of 180 degrees. The tangent is y over x, which is 0 over negative 1, or 0. We'll record the values for sine, cosine, and tangent of 180 degrees in our table. Now we'll go to 270 degrees and start by determining the sine. The sine of 270 degrees is y over r, which is negative 1 over 1, or negative 1. Next we'll find the cosine of 270 degrees. The cosine is x over r, which is 0 over 1, or 0. Now for the tangent of 270 degrees. The tangent is y over x, which is negative 1 over 0. And negative 1 over 0 is undefined. We'll record the values of sine, cosine, and tangent for 270 degrees in our table. Now we'll go over to 360 degrees and we'll start by finding the sine. The coordinates for 360 degrees are the same as the coordinates for 0 degrees, 1 for x and 0 for y. The sine of 360 degrees is y over r, which is 0 over 1, or 0. Next we'll find the cosine of 360 degrees. The cosine is x over r, which is 1 over 1, or 1. Lastly we'll find the tangent of 360 degrees. The tangent is y over x which is 0 over 1, or 0. We'll record the sine, cosine, and tangent for 360 degrees in our table. Here's a summary of the four angles and their trigonometric ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent, and how these are obtained from their coordinates. Make sure you're able to find all these values on your own. Now we'll determine the reciprocal trigonometric ratios for the angles here. Remember the cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, or 1 over sine. The secant is the reciprocal of cosine, or 1 over cosine. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, or 1 over tangent. We'll start with the cosecant of 0 degrees. The sine is y over r, so the cosecant is the reciprocal 
or r over y, which is 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. The secant of 0 degrees is r over x, the reciprocal of the cosine. r and x are both 1, so the ratio is 1 to 1, which is equal to 1. The cotangent of 0 degrees is the reciprocal of the tangent, or the reciprocal of y over x, which is x over y. x over y is 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. We'll enter these three values in our table for the reciprocal ratios. Now we'll go to 90 degrees. The cosecant is r over y, or 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. The secant is r over x, which is 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. And the cotangent of 90 degrees is x over y, or 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. We'll enter the values for these in our table. Now we'll move to 180 degrees. The cosecant is r over y, which is 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. The secant is r over x, which is 1 over negative 1, or negative 1. And the cotangent is x over y, or negative 1 over 0, and negative 1 over 0 is undefined. Now we'll add these three values for 180 degrees to our reciprocal ratio table. We'll go to 270 degrees. The cosecant is r over y, which is 1 over negative 1, or negative 1. The secant is r over x, or 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. And the cotangent of 270 degrees is x over y, which is 0 over negative 1, or 0. We'll add the values for the cosecant, secant, and cotangent of 270 degrees to our table. Lastly, we'll go to 360 degrees. The cosecant of 360 degrees is r over y, which is 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. The secant of 360 degrees is r over x, or 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. And the cotangent of 360 degrees is x over y, or 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 is undefined. We'll record the values for the cosecant, secant, and cotangent of 360 degrees in our table. Here's a summary of the reciprocal trigonometric ratios for the five angles we considered here, and how all these values are obtained from their coordinates. Make sure to review these until you're confident that you can determine all the values on your own.